sunny and rainy kind of weird <laughs> Sunday as we go off to church and I thought I'd just kind of touch base with you guys before we start and today's affirmation is I am enough and there's this song that I put together once upon a time and when my album finally comes through you'll even get to hear it in its fullness but for right now here we go I am enough I am enough I am enough I am enough, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough. Okay, so that's the affirmation for today and I actually forgot to say this is Rosemary Nonny Knight. This is the Church of RNK. Lovely to have you on board, of course. <laughs> but yes, I got to a thinking about how sometimes we get to feeling that one of the thing that we desire is way out of reach because we start to doubt that we are capable of creating it. We start to look at other people and the way they've created an amazing life. You start to look for tips and tricks from them, but then you also forget your own inherent power. You forget that you too are quite capable of stuff and it's so easy in the midst of life not go quite going according to the plan that you'd hoped for when you were younger, you start to disbelieve yourself, you start to distrust yourself, you stop loving yourself, you start to feel unworthy because you've made so many mistakes, you're not really sure, blah, 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 blah. You somehow manage to help other people accomplish the things that they want to accomplish, you are that person as well, but when it comes to your own stuff, there's a feeling that you just can't seem to do it, you just can't seem to get past your internal craziness or whatever it is in order to create the life the, the, the success that you desire again it's a reminder here then that actually you are created in the image of the divine you are enough there is nothing wrong with you that whatever did happen was just part of a journey part of a yeah a journey I suppose I can't think of any other word a <laughs> part of a transition into the life that you are born to live, that your desires were given to you for a reason. Your vision is still your permission, even though it feels as though it's long in coming to pass. It is still your permission to go for it. There were just maybe some lessons. Hey, good morning, Anthony. There were maybe some lessons to learn on the way to get into where you want to go. And the ones that actually succeed are the ones that stick through the lessons and see them for just what they are temporary. And, and instead of making it mean something about you, as in, oh, I'm just not enough, no. You make, you, you, make, you, you make it mean that actually I'm learning, I'm becoming more, I'm expanding. Yes, there are, there are trials and tribulations on the path, but it's just making me bigger, it's making me stronger, it's making me more. Nothing has come my way that, I, that wasn't part of a particular plan. I may not know what that plan is right now. I may not know why I've had to go through this stuff right now, but I refuse to lose faith or courage or belief in myself because I am enough. And the affirmation again. I am enough. 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 You are, you are, you are enough. And I had to remind myself of this this morning as well because every so often you get shaken a little bit things happen you feel oh my gosh can I cope yes you can you are enough you have everything within you to do the work that you are here to do the thing is to try not to take on work that you're not here to do which is where a lot of people spend a lot of their time you start doing things because you think they're more practical they're more reasonable instead of doing the thing that is in your heart to do but somehow we manage to convince ourselves that the thing that is in your heart to do is impossible it is impractical it's illogical and just delusional to think that you can make it happen but it's not the truth 
it's not the truth there's a particular reason why you have a particular vision and it is not just for you yes it will be the most fulfilling thing you do with your life and it will also create the most wealth for you if you open the door to wealth but it's also not just about you it's also about the planet as a whole it's about the people you are here to impact it's about the people you're here to make a difference to okay and some of you all are doing some of the work that you're here to do you're doing it in small measure trying to tell yourself that you can be satisfied with this maybe you're doing it in your community or your or your um, what's it called uh, religious organization but you know that you're born for more you you know you're born to be more to do more and to have more but it hasn't happened yet and so you start to question yourself you start to doubt yourself unfortunately the wounds from your childhood start to tell you that you are not enough that you are not worthy that there's something something wrong and for most people they're not even aware that this is happening under the surface they're just kind of walking through life thinking oh well maybe I'm just not allowed to have it all basically and that becomes their theology ah yeah I know it's impossible for you to have everything so don't even believe it that becomes a theology people build a whole all religion around you know we're here to suffer or <laughs> we have to sacrifice what we want to get the more holy things of life and that's just nonsense it is when people weren't able to go after what they wanted and persist with it they make a theology around it they look in their their, their, their scripture or whatever and, and tell you oh this this particular verse must absolutely mean that and they're very charismatic so you know you believe them <laughs> you believe them because yeah you're experiencing something in your life and you start to think maybe maybe it was God's plan that I shouldn't get everything and I say it's a lie and a fallacy and stop believing such nonsense <laughs> okay stop believing such nonsense yeah maybe it was maybe it's gonna take a little bit more resilience than you thought it was going to maybe it'll take a bit longer than you thought it was going to take but in some ways time is immaterial it's immaterial okay because the moment you start to live out your dream you'll forget it's like the I always go back to the mother and child <laughs> it's like the mother giving birth you know the, the labor is can be the most horrible long thing ever but then the babies come and you almost forget how long it was yeah you tell the stories but they lack the intensity of the moment and so right now you may be going through labor pains and you're wondering when is this baby going to arrive and the temptation unfortunately with the baby well fortunately with the baby you have no choice you have to birth that child but <laughs> with a dream with a vision it's too easy to give in too easy to drop the faith it's too easy to say oh well maybe it wasn't meant to be because you can't see it in the physical so you think oh well maybe it wasn't meant to be let me just drop it and go after some lesser vision or let me just you know soak myself up in some mindfulness practice which means that I get satisfied with less or let me try to be satisfied with less and then people go searching after personal development things like mindfulness and things like that because they're telling themselves well you can't get what you want so you better just find a way to be content with what you have and I'm not saying we want to walk around life feeling discontent all the time but I am saying don't use that as an excuse to settle for less than what you are capable of don't use that to settle for less than the big vision that you know you are born to birth I wonder if you guys can see me because I can't see me in my phone <laughs> you know you're born to birth you have a vision it is your permission to go for it you don't need to wait for any extra out external permission you don't need to wait for God to confirm again that this is the thing you're here to do you just need to stay on the path to it you need to believe that you are enough to create it you need to love yourself enough to be worthy in your own eyes of the vision you need to believe in yourself that you are more than strong enough more than able more than capable of sticking on the journey till you get there you need to trust your intuition your higher power your internal little voice telling you speaking to you bringing you back again and again and again and saying honey you are born for more you are enough to create that more it isn't just some kind of fallacy dream thing that is just a dream and a wish and never ever to be recreated it is to be created actually I'm approaching church I'm gonna bring this to a close um, affirmation I am enough 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 I'm going 
minute park in front of the pin for the pastor's car parking spot as he doesn't seem to be here okay <laughs> so guys please believe in yourself you are enough you are created to prosper do not allow yourself to buy into the lie that you are less than, okay? Now, this is something that I'm doing at the moment and I'm gonna invite you to it. For some of y'all, you need that, that personal prophecy, that personal word, that personal guidance from your higher power so that you can step back onto the path that has been created for you. You need to, uh, you know, you need that clarity inside of you and it's, and I can help you with that. I can help you get back in touch with your, your intuition. I can give you specific guidance to help you move forward, whether it's in terms of, whether it's business, whether it's not business, whether it's whatever area of your life, it's called the Abundance Mastermind. It is something that I've created um, specifically for just six people, okay? So all you need to do, actually, now that I'm not driving, I can actually type. Um, you need to go over to rosemaryonlynight.com forward slash abundance. Now, it's all right to listen to me talking and giving you affirmations for the day, but how cool would it be to have your specific, your specific word, a specific word, specific direction for you specifically? And that is what the Abundance Mastermind is about. It's about getting personalized with you. It's about helping you reach your goals your personal goals, helping you map out which direction to go into. You already know this stuff. So what I'm trying to do here is help you tap right back into it so that you're able to actually then move forward with a lot more confidence, a lot more love of self, because that's what some one thing we're definitely going to be working on. Because if you don't feel worthy of good things, you'll find it a struggle to create good things, okay? So we're going to be looking at that. So self-love, self, -love, self um, self-confidence, as well as we're going to be looking at making sure that you are in touch with your intuition. And then we're going to be, as, because of, as a result of all of that, you will start to deliberately design a life of prosperity, a life of abundance, a life of freedom, okay? Now, I do believe, as you all know, Project 334K, 334,000 people reaching their, their financial independence, reaching freedom in all areas of their life so that they can make a difference, make a dent on this planet, then we start to change the world. And that's where this abundance mastermind has come from. Girls, you can't go into church, although I'm not sure how you're going to get out, Elizabeth. <laughs> but um, So that's where this has come from. It's another way for me to help you reach the goals that are yours, okay? So if you go over to rosemaryonunite.com forward slash abundance, go and join in. It is your time to prosper, okay? Until the next time, guys, remember that you are enough. Stop thinking that you're less than who you are. Step into the being enough, okay? Step into it. Until the next time. Much love. Sing that song all day today. Let it start to really seep into you. So when you find yourself doubting you're capable of anything, just remember, I am enough. I am enough. I am enough. Awesome child. Okay, then. It's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you're born to live because... You wanna up, up. up. You wanna up, up. Wanna, 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 wanna. Much love. Share this with someone. Until the next time. Bye. Bye.